or praise the throne most high for his only begotten son Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Brother and sister, welcome again on my YouTube channel for another video. So, brother and sister, this is very, very important just to give you some spiritual food in order to edify you, brother and sister, scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, the so called blacks, Native Indian, and Latino. So, why am I making this video? We've noticed since we do not want to keep the commandment of the most side, we just want to rebel, we want to be Christian, we want to be Muslim, all this, whatever, right? Do witchcraft here and there. The most high has given us slumbering spirit. So we do have eyes, but we do not see. But when I'm talking about seeing, am I speaking? Literally, am I talking about being blind physically? No, we are blind spiritually right so without any further ado i'm gonna go to the book of second king chapter 17 verse 34 and i'm gonna read this is the book of second kings chapter 17 verse 34 and you read and you read you read unto this day unto this day they do after the former manners. So, the brother that was witnessing this thing, he's referring to a former time. What does it mean, like, in a former time, in a former manner? Like, after the Most High delivered our forefather from what? Egypt, which is nothing else than slavery, bondage. When you go in the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verses 2, it tells you what is the meaning of the word Egypt. It's a Greek word. So I'm going to continue. He said, Unto this day, they do after the former manners. They fear not the law. Neither do they after the statute. What are the statutes of the Most High found? In the Bible. Right? He found in the Bible. He said, Or oh, after the ordinance. What are the ordinances of the Most High found? In this Bible. Right? Or oh, after the law and commandment which the Lord commanded the children of Jacob. So, you see, it's very, very specific. is to the children of Jacob, which are the 12 tribe of Israel. Okay? Today, which we will call the northern and the southern kingdom. The northern kingdom comprised of the 10 tribe. Okay? Under who? Under who? They were under Ephraim. And then we have the southern kingdom, that is comprised of what? Three tribes. You have Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. But they were all under the, the I'll say the rulership of who? Judah. Well, Judah was the chief tribe. So he said, whom he named Israel? Because the name was changed to Israel later on. Right? So I'm going to go to the book of Deuteronomy 29. I'm going to go to Deuteronomy 29. Let's go to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 29 and we're going to read the verses 4. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 29 and verses 4. Yet the Lord, yet the Lord had not given you an heart to perceive. So the heart is he talking about is not talking about your organ, the heart within your bowel or your body. No, it's talking about your mind. Because everything you do is processed through what? Your mind, your head. Is not your heart, okay? So let's continue. And eyes to see and ears to hear unto this day. So Paul, Moses is making it clear. This was Moses speaking right here. So like that was Moses speaking, right? Moses saying what? Well, Yet the Lord had not given you an heart to perceive, an eyes, an eye to see, an ear to hear unto this day. So he was letting that you are blind. How are they blind? spiritually they have eyes they can see normal but they do not discern right from wrong they do not discern what is evil and what is good so with that i'm gonna go to the book of isaiah chapter 6 verses 9 let me go to the book of isaiah chapter 6 and verses 9 this is the book of isaiah this is isaiah bear with me this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 6, 
verses 9. So this is the book of Isaiah chapter 6 verses 9. And he said, go and tell these people, hear ye indeed. So the Moses was telling Isaiah, go tell the Israelites, the 12 tribes of Israel, the so-called today Latino, Native Indian, and the blacks. Right? He said, and he said, go and tell these people, hear ye indeed, but understand it not. So many of you trying to fight over some of these scriptures that I bring out, videos, stuff like that. I don't, I don't worry too much about it. Why? Because I know you don't get it. Only a tiny person you will get it. This is not about numbers. Okay, the Moses already, he already declared the end from the beginning. The Moses, he declared the end of, from the beginning. So this is just to wake up mostly the one third. The one third of the children of Israel. Because we are very, very rebellious people. Very, very rebellious people. Okay? Am I really? And he said, go and tell these people, hear ye indeed, but understand not, like you do today, right? Understand not. And see ye indeed, but perceive not. He said, make the heart of these people fat, and make the ears heavy, and shut the ears, lest they see with the eyes, and hear with the ears. So he said to blind you, but he's not talking about physically blinding. He's talking about spiritual. How can somebody become blind? When you go off, when you go away from the Lord, the commandment of the Mosai, he blinds you spiritually. You see evil, you don't think he's evil. So when you see a homosexual, to you it's fine. Why? Because you don't even fear the Mosai. For if you fear the Mosai or you love him, you should be keeping the commandment. And when you see a homosexual or someone doing something going off, you should be telling the person, you know, this is wrong. You can't do that. And nothing wrong about it. Because you love your brother and your sister. You should rebuke them, right? All right? He said, and understand with their heart and convert and be healed. So until you repent, you start keeping the commandment instead of running your mouth, trying to fight over abroad this scripture, I will say this. Simple, man. I'm going to go to the book of Isaiah chapter 29, verse 10. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 29, and verse 10. He said, for the law. So before I go there, I'm going to go to the book of Matthew. Because Christ, he brought it up. I'm going to go to Matthew 13, verse 13 through 4. So I'm going to read it. This is the book of Matthew. This is the book of Matthew. Chapter 13, verses 13 through 14. And these are the word of Christ. They are written in red. He said, therefore speak I to them in parables, because they see, see not. So Christ said, these people see, but they don't see anything. They have eyes, but they don't see anything. When they see the evil coming, they don't know. Right? He said, and hearing, they hear not. So they will listen literally, but they do not understand. They don't get it. Why? The most I give them that spirit. Why? Because they rebellious. They do not want to keep the commandment. They do not love the most high. It's simple. He said, neither do they understand. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which say, by the hearing ye shall hear. So what did I read earlier? The book of Isaiah chapter 6 and verses 9. That's what I just read it from, right? That's what I'm reading. He said, he said, and in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah. Christ is quoting from who? The prophet Isaiah. Okay? That's another clear cut for you that say, oh, the Old Testament, New Testament. No. The, everything within this Bible is important. All pertain to be prophecies. Okay? So he said, which say by the hearing ye shall hear and shall not understand. So Christ said, you won't understand it. So many of you won't understand this Bible. You can read it anyhow you want. You can go to your pastor and you still won't get it. As long as you don't keep the commandment, you won't get it. It's simple. The most I said it that way. It's not me. The most I said it all that way. And see, you shall see and shall not perceive. So, it's very simple. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to go again. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verses 10. He said, For the Lord had poured upon you, for the Lord had poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep. So, is he talking about literally going to bed and sleeping deep? No. A deep sleep, like slumber spirit. You don't see, you don't understand anything. You worry about money. You worry about buying this thing, doing this here, worry about your friend in the you don't keep the Lord the commandment of the most high. You see? He said, Well, for the Lord has poured upon you the spirit of deep sleep. 
and had closed your eyes, the prophet and your rulers, the seer, had he covered, and the vision of all is become unto you as the word of a book that is sealed. You see, the word of this book is sealed unto many of our people. Why? Because they are rebellious. They do not believe. They do not love God. Because when you love God, you keep his commandment. It's very simple. You can say you love somebody with your mouth 24-7, 365. No, you can't do that, man. That's hypocrisy, right? So I'm going to continue. Which men deliver to one that is learned, saying, read this, I pray thee. And he said, I cannot, for it is sin. Because it's sin unto many of our people. Why? Because they do not believe. And they do not fear the Most High. They don't love the Most High. When you love the Most High, you keep the commandment. That's why Christ said, if you love me, keep my commandment. It's very simple. Non-complicated. And the book is delivered to him that is not learned, saying, read this, I pray thee. And he said, I am not learned. You see, even though we give you the whole Bible, whatever, all the precepts, many of you still won't get it. And I'm a God. So Christ, he quoted from Isaiah two times. So Isaiah 6 and 9 and 29 and 10. Let's continue. I'm going to read it again. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 13, verses 13 through 14. Therefore speak I to them in parables. So the most I told Christ, speak to these people, this rebellious nation, this Israel, speak to them in parable. For I do not want them to understand. The most I does not want you to understand the Bible because they see, see not, and hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah, which say, By the hearing ye shall hear and shall not understand. And seeing ye shall see, and shall not perceive. So it's very simple. I will jump to the book of Jeremiah 5.21. Because the most should be sent to different prophets at different times. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 5, verse 21. Let's see what the most told Jeremiah concerning our people being rebellious. Let's see. So this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 5, verse 21. Here now... These all foolish people. Who are these foolish people? Is Israel, right? Is the is the, the so-called Negro? I'm already from verse 20. This is the book of uh, Jeremiah, chapter 5, verse 20. It said, Declare this in the house of Jacob. So, who is the house of Jacob? The 12 tribe. Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Reuben, Simeon, Asher, Issachar, etc. Okay, Ephraim, or you name it, Manasseh, or you know, right? So the 12 tribe. So and publish it, in, publish it in Judah, saying, so he said, well, to publish it in Judah among the so-called Negroes, the so-called Blacks, okay? I'm going to continue. He said, hear now these all foolish people, the most I call us foolish. Foolish people, the most I call us foolish people, and without understanding. We do not understand. We think we smile, we got PhD, doctorate, master degree, we get it. No, man, that's vain. We need the wisdom of this Bible. That's the only thing that can get us close unto the Most High. Through His only because Psalm Mashiach and Yahweh Shai. That's the only case. Right? Hey, I'm not perfect, but guess what? Every day we strive for perfection. This is to show you, brother and sister, love. This is not about hate. That's the truth. If you love God, you got to accept it. If you hate God, you reject it. It's simple. Nothing complicated, man. Very simple. He said, Hear now these all foolish people and without understanding, which have eyes and see not. So you have eyes. Yeah, you do have eyes. But do you understand the Bible? No. Do you understand what the Most High requires of you? No, you do not. He said, and see not, we have ears and hear not. Fear ye not me, said the Lord. We need your tremble. He said, will ye not tremble at my presence, which have placed the sand for the bow of the sea, but a perpetual decree? That it cannot pass it, and though the wicked therefore toss themselves, yet can they not prevail. So you do all the weakness you want to do. Can you go against the Mosai? Can you rule over the Mosai? Can the men rule over the Mosai? No, that's what the Mosai is telling you here. The Mosai is the one that set the bound for the water that are in the ocean or whatever you, you name it, right? Can those water pass wherever the Mosai allow them to stay? No, they cannot. So he's called perinal to what? That water in the sand. But these people have revolting. He said, but these people had a revolting and rebellious heart. You see, we have a revolting and rebellious mind. Head. They are revolted and gone. 
neither say they in their heart. Let us now fear the Lord our God. How do you fear the most when you keep his commandment? Right? That give a rain, both the former and the latter in his season. He reserved it unto us the appointed weeks of the harvest. The most I did all those things. Let's go to the book of Ezekiel. Let's go to the book of Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 12 and verses 2. This is the book of Ezekiel chapter 12 and verses 2. I'm going to read from verses 1. The word of the Lord also came unto me saying, so that here is another prophet. So we start with who? And different kings and priests in the time of our people, I think it was uh, uh, probably in the time of Solomon or right after Solomon or Hezekiah. Then we went to who? Moses, right? After Moses, we went to twice in Isaiah. And after Isaiah, we went to uh, who? Jeremiah. So, so far, we got four prophets. And from Jeremiah, we went to who? Ezekiel right now. Let's read what Ezekiel, what the Moses said. He said, the word of the Lord also came unto me, saying, Son of man, thou dwellest in the midst of a rebellious house. So the most I call us rebellious again. Am I making it up? You can Google it yourself. Go on. You know. He said, well, this is the book of Ezekiel chapter 12, verses 1 through 2. He said, Son of man, thou dwellest in the midst of a rebellious house. Like I live in the midst of rebellious Israelite. That's what the most I say. We have eyes to see and see not. You have eyes to see, but you don't see anything. Because you are blind spiritually, the most I blind you spiritually for your rebelliousness. They have ear to hear and hear not. You have ear, but you, you do listen, but you don't get understanding. For they are a rebellious house. So simple. Right? I'm going to go to the New Testament. Let's go to the book of Mark, chapter 4, verse 11 to. This is the book of Mark, chapter 4, verse 11 to 12. I'm going to read it. This is the book of Mark. Chapter 4, verses 11 to 12, and I'm going to read. And he said unto them, this is Christ, and Christ said unto them, Unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God. So, the most I want us to understand the mystery of the kingdom of God. But unto many of our people, the most I does not want them to understand. That's what Christ is saying. Why? Because we are rebellious people. Very, very rebellious people. Sorry children, right? As he written in the book of Isaiah chapter 1, and Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 22, same thing. He said, unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of the Most High, but unto them that are without, though you don't have it, all these things are done in parables. So you understand it. That seeing they may see and not perceive, so you see but you don't get it. And hearing, they may hear and not understand it. Like somebody will read you the Bible, trying to break it down to you. Still, you don't understand it. You want to have you fight back and forth. Lest any time, that's the only way you can repent. That way you can get understanding. He say, lest at any time, they should be converted and their sin should be forgiven them. So, that's the only way you can do it. That's the only way. Let's go to the book of Luke. This is the book of Luke, chapter 8, verses 10. This is the book of Luke, chapter 8, verses 10. And I'm going to read. And he said, Unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of God, but to others in parable, that seeing they might not see, and hearing they might not understand. So, you see, it's very simple. You see, you see now the parable is this. The seed is the word of the Most High. Those by the wayside are they that are hearing. Then come up the devil. So anyone who trying to destroy you, trying to say, Oh, but you know Jesus healed on the Sabbath. He did it. Do you understand what does it mean? What Christ was saying? Christ healed because what? He was life saving. Life saving. Any case you have somebody as emergency, common sense will tell you, would you just leave the person because it's the Sabbath? No. That was the only case. Christ never said to go break the Sabbath of the most high. No. So I'm going to continue. He said, those by the way, side are they that are here. Then come up the devil and take it away the world out of their heart, their mind. Lest they should believe and be saved. So the devil doesn't want you to believe and be saved. So he wants you to keep on arguing back and forth with my video. That's why. Right? I'm going to go to the book of Acts, chapter 28, verse 26. This is the book of Acts. This is the book of Acts. This is the book of Art. This is the book of Art 28, 26. 
This is the book of Acts 28, verses 26. So here again we come to another prophet. Who? There was Paul and the other brethren. So let's see what Paul said. Say, go unto these people and say, Hearing ye shall hear and shall not understand. And see, ye shall see and not perceive. So brethren, it's very simple, man. I want you to understand the reason why you don't understand the Bible. The reason why you always go fighting with this creature. The most I give you this solemn spirit. Why? Because you don't want to keep the commandment. You don't even believe. You don't love the most high. Right? So, for the heart of these people is what's gross. You see? And the ear are dull of hearing. And the eyes have their clothes. Lest they should see with the eyes and hear with the ears and understand with the heart and should be converted and I should heal them. So the most I say, if you repent, you keep the commandment, you do everything I say, I will heal you. It's very simple. The most is very lovely, it's simple, but you don't do what he said, he, he will deliver you. This is the book of Romans chapter 11, verses 8. This is the book of Romans chapter 11, verses 8. This is the book of Romans chapter 11, and verses 8. And I'm going to read. What then? He say, according as it is written, what is it written? The book of what? Deuteronomy, chapter 29, and verses 1, 4, is written where? The book of Isaiah 6 and 9, the book of Isaiah 29, and verses 10, right? You got what? Jeremiah 5, 21, Ezekiel 12, verses 2, right? And what is? We got Romans 11 and 8, Acts 28, 26, Matthew 13, 13 through 14, Luke 8 and 10, Mark 4, 11 to 12. So the list goes on, okay? So I'm going to read two more scriptures and that will be over for this video. So this verses 8. So Paul, he was literally letting the brother and sister that were living in Rome that, listen, the most I give you a slumbering spirit. Why? Because you're rebellious against him. So he said, according as it is written, God had given them the spirit of slumber, eyes, that they should not see. God did it. Why? Did he just do it because he wanted to know? Because you don't believe. You don't fear him. You don't want to keep his commandment. That's why he did it. He said, eyes that they should not see, and ear that they should not hear unto this day. And David said, let the table be made a snare, and a trap, and a stumbling block, and a recompense unto them. Let the eyes be darkened that they may not see, and bow down the back always. Right? So, one more scripture. Second Corinthians 3. This is the book of Second Corinthians chapter 3, verse 14 through 15. But the mind were blinded. So most of our brothers and sisters, the mind is blind. The most I blind you. The most I did it. How many precepts I just brought up? So I said, right? He said, But the mind were blinded, for until this day remain the same veil untaken away in the reading of the Old Testament. Which veil is done away in Christ. But even unto this day, when Moses is read, the veil is upon the heart. So you see, the veil, that veil that Christ, that Paul was re referring to, to the brother living in Corinth, was what? The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 29, verses 4. That was he referring to. He said, even though after Christ died, they still have the veil. That veil that Moses, that was placed upon them in the time of Moses for rebelliousness, no hacking, no keeping the commandment, is still there. Last scripture. Last scripture. Okay, I'm going to read it. I'm going to bring it out quick. This is the last scripture. This is the book of Second Peter. This is the book of Second Peter. Chapter 3, verse 16. He said, verse 15, On account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul, also according to the wisdom given unto him, have written unto you. The wisdom, which wisdom? That the most I choose to is not me. The most I... He decides which widow he wants to give you a whore. He's the most high, right? He said, as also in all his epistle, all his letter, letter of Paul, let's see, speaking in them of this thing, he's speaking about some things, right? In which are something hard to understood. So the writing of Paul are very hard for Christians. You Christians do not understand the writing of Paul. It's too complicated. Even unto us that came the commandment, some of his writings still, we still fell, fall upon it, right? But we pray on the most high to give us the full spirit, so we will be able to discern whatever Paul is trying to say, right? So, which there that are unlearned and unstable rest. So, you find with the scripture, 
you see my video, somebody comment, yeah, yeah, yeah. You say, that's fine, it's not good, man. We understood why you're doing this. We don't have to fight to get mad, you know. We actually, we pray for you to repent. You might be part of the one third. We pray for that. And they do also the other scripture unto their own destruction. So it's for your own destruction. So brother and sister, with that, I must say all praise to the Most High through His only because I must share our share, the one that the whole world called ignorance, Jesus Christ. So I must say by Shema Mashiach. Shalom.